All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth sincerity, and the Akwaf, the sisters that's in this thing in truth sincerity that really believes. Um, this is from the beloved elder um, Yashawamba. His page is two through and information from the Dallas GMS camp. Now, I just want to, you know, touch on this and get a couple of scriptures and, you know, um, it's funny that these people think that they're not going to pay for um, scattering the flock. But, you know, so I'm just going to play the video. Now, the thing that's sad is that this dude must have never um, read Ezekiel 4 and 13. The Lord said because of our curses that we was going to be scattered into wherever we go. All right. Amongst the heathen, eating our food defiled amongst the Gentiles. All right. That's what Ezekiel 4 and 13 say. He been in the truth long enough to know that scripture. But this man is a hireling. So he don't care for the sheep. You know, and um he say things that if a carnal man who don't have the Holy Spirit, they'd be like, Yeah, he got a point. He got a point. All right. But see, this is why you gotta know the scriptures because Everything that he say can easily be debunked. So if the Lord said that he is going to scatter us to the four corners of the earth, that we going to eat our bread defiled with the um, Gentiles. And then in the curses to say that he, we would have to go to our enemy for want of all things. Yeah, we know that the food is poison. So the scriptures also says this. I'm going to touch on a couple of things. Hopefully this video will be straight to the point and edifying. So, it say, curse be he that make of the blind to wander out of the way, and all the people shall say amen. This is in the law, all right? So, he's cursed. You know, um, Romans 16 and 17 said, mark those who cause divisions contrary to the doctrine. This is a man that's contrary to the doctrine, all right? And um, you're supposed to mark them and then avoid them. All right. You rebuke them and then you avoid them. That means you don't be listening to their freaking videos if you're not, um, you know, spiritually discerned, because that's why a lot of people turn away. I see people on a comment board talking about, well, you know, I listen to GMS and then I listen to IUIC or I listen to GMS and I listen to ISUPK or I listen to all of y'all and I'm just confused. That's why. First of all, you're not spiritually discerned. And second of all, that's confusion. The scripture said in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 that we all should be speaking the same thing. All right. But if a, if a group is calling on Jesus Christ, another group is telling you to take the serpent serum. Then and you got another group that's saying trust in the Lord, which one you should listen to. But guess what? As the scripture said, the elect have obtained and the rest were blinded. And um, let me get another one real quick. Because that's talking about food, right? Said so the, the point is at the, at the end of the scripture. It said, they shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they save the corners off their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. And that's what a shot is. All right. Barakatha Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
444. Now, that's what uh, 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 cutting in your flesh is when you puncture the flesh. All right. So you ain't even supposed to be you. First of all, you you can't even put tattoos on your body. So you think you're going to be able to put a foreign object inside your body. This is in the law. All right. Which Romans seven and one said that the law have dominion over a man as long as he lives. The, the law is not done away with. The law is what govern us and guide us into being a what you would call a good citizen. <laughs> All right. And I'm talking about of Yasharala, not of this damn world, because things are deemed that are good, bad here. All right. But anyway, so you ain't even supposed to make cuttings in your flesh. And Tazar yet got a, got a line up too on his beard. All right. So you listen to a man that's blatantly breaking the law. All right. Now, from here. Let's get Micah. This this is what this man is. He don't care. He's paid off. Say the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. And that's the strong delusion that the Lord sent on them. All right. According to uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 11. He said he sent a strong delusion on for they believe a lie. Job 12 and 16 said that the deceiver and the deceiver are his. So you got to understand they just playing a part of the movie, but you still got to do your job. You still got to rebuke them. You still got to tell them that they're going off and you still got to tell the other people who believe in them that's following them that they going off. All right. But they think that the evil of the Lord is not going to come upon them. They are all they are just reserved for judgment. All right. So for the people who follow IUIC and IUIC, I mean IUHPK and IUIC, guess what? You're going to be destroyed with them, but they're going to get it worse. All right? Because they know better. The uh, commander commanding General Yohanna and, and Nate, they all they all came together in one west with um Apostle Tahar. So they all know the truth. But they chose to do their own thing for a piece of dollar. Not a piece of dollar, but, you know, some money, you know. So they're going to be destroyed for that. So therefore, shall Zion for your sake be plowed. See, our people is being plowed because of them. Because they sending, they sending our, um, the sheep amongst wolves. All right? Amongst, uh, amongst wolves. And that's why we're being plowed. So it said, therefore, shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field and Jerusalem shall become heaps and the mountain of the house as the high places of the forest. So they just scattered us around. All right. That's why our people are still searching for the truth until this day. Because you got false prophets out here. Is the Lord in control of all things? Yes. They got to play their role in the movie the same way we got to play our role. But within the role of the movie, the Lord said, do this. Mark those who cause division contrary to the doctrine and avoid them. All right. So they're going to pay for this. Let's see. And to say his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. All right. So imagine having a dog that's a house dog and thieves break into your house and the dog don't bark. He don't do anything. He just <laughs> matter of fact, you remember the scene on um, next Friday when um, Roach gave Chico you know, some food while Craig was able to run into the house and steal the, the trophy of money, you know. But in the beginning of it, though, the dog was barking. But guess what? After the, the dog got some food, you know, he, he shut the hell up and Craig was able to do what he did. But the point is, is that, um, you know, so imagine having a dog who don't bark. You know what I'm saying? When intruders is coming. So your ass is sleeping good, slobbering all over your pillow. And then the thieves just took off with everything in your house. And the damn dog is just, <laughs> is just sitting in the damn dog house. You know what I'm saying? So, and it say, yeah, they are, 
greedy dogs, what does that mean? That they're hirelings. They only care about money. They think that money is going to save them in this in this time to come. When the scriptures uh, said in Proverbs 11 and 4 that uh, riches profit nothing in the day of wrath, but righteousness profit, all right, and save you from death, all right? But I guess they never came across that scripture, huh? But yeah, they are all greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his gain from his quarter, all right? So that's all they care about. They want to they want to fill their belly. They want to they want to appease their flesh. And the more money that they get, the more they're going to scatter you more. And then it's a vain thing from Esau's standpoint, thinking that you could pay false prophets that your time is going to be um lengthened. No. You're going to be Salak you had to burp. You're going to be destroyed when the Lord says time. All right? So you made a covenant with death thinking that everything going to be all right, but you're going to be destroyed. Come ye say they, I will fetch wine and we'll fill ourselves with strong drink and tomorrow shall be as the day as much more abundant. So, yeah, they think that they comfortable right now. Nate Satan, uh, General Yohanna, Tazariak going on these damn platforms you know, puffing their chest out because they got a they got a couple of dollars. They 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 comfortable right now, all right. And that strong drink is the philosophy of the devil, all right. And if if you want to be carnal with it, yeah, strong drink too. Yeah, yeah but you already know they drinking and living and, and being merry, all right. And to say, but he that is a hireling and not the shepherd, whose own the shepherd are not, see if the wolf, who is the wolf? The devil, man. And leave of the sheep and flee of the, and the wolf catches them and scatter the sheep. And that's what the devil been doing ever since we came over here. All right. He caught the sheep and scattered them. Our people calling ourselves black and African-American and Latino Puerto Rican and uh, uh, Indian, Native American, like so. Our people don't even know our what don't don't they don't know the truth. They don't know the way. The devil know who we are. He never told us who we was. That don't benefit him. All right. So they and then it, now we going into a um, situation with they're trying to fuse digital and biological and physical together. All right. So they're trying to fuse man and technology together, and then they our people. Are just putting their arms out, taking the thing. You know what I'm saying? So our people are just scattered. And guess what? The hireling who cared not for the sheep, all right, he just he put them in the wolf's hand. And it says the hiring the hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and care of not for the sheep. So he see the wolf coming, but he go back in the background and take the crumbs that the wolf gave him, and he's sitting back. Watching his um, people be destroyed. But he's okay though. Alright. I guess he never came. I guess these people never came across the scripture that said. Uh, you know. Woe unto him who have who are rich. For they have received a consolation. Alright. So guess what. The little punk ass dollars that you got. It ain't going to matter in the day to come. And that day is coming fast. Alright. So what's that? I think it's 12. And to say, many pastors have destroyed my vineyard. They have trotted my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. All right. And that's what the devil have done, you know, and, and, and the associates of the devil, which is these false prophets. They made us desolate in the wilderness because this is the wilderness, man. This is a place where it's, it's it's no place for us. This is not our rest. All right. Now, the Lord gave us the light in the wilderness. That's only for the elect, though. Now, these false prophets is hindering the Lord's work. All right. By putting out these false divinations by saying trust in the devil and do what he say. You got uh, 
uh, Commander General Yohanna talk about how are we going to eat? How are we going to... What? So, what? So you never heard of Faith? You fat fucker? I'm tired of niggas, man. And that's why the Lord going to destroy y'all. Because you have destroyed the Lord's vineyard. Y'all got a lot to pay. And there's so many scriptures to this. But I'll be on this video for an hour. Because this is one of my favorite topics. But I'm going to end it with this one. And this is what's happening. This is only for the elect. Only for the elect. And it's saying, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's what it's all about. So the apostles and elders and the men associated with them, the men on down from GMS, they are the ones that feed you with knowledge and understanding. They're the one that's telling you what's going to happen before it happens. These other groups is not prophesying about the downfall of this place, but they're actually trying to afford the, 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 the what you call it, the, um, they're trying to forward the devil's agenda, but they're trying to forward the um the prosperity of this place. Which this place is not prospering. It's not. It's not prospering, I mean. And but once you got a couple dollars in your bank account, it don't matter what situation that you're in when the currency is still valid. So the people who got a couple dollars in the bank, they think that is they're not in a bad case, but they don't got the eyes to see that this place is is uh surely but shortly being destroyed from the inside out people are divided all right the economy is getting worse each day they are already trying to come into a new currency and that's where the chip gonna rock gonna come in but guess what the other um prophets is not telling you about that but the pastors according to the lord's heart are all right so yeah so f you to Zariac, trying to tell our people he, he gonna see at the end of the video. I just took the shot for y'all don't be scared. Nah, we wise. All right. And if you and I don't believe that you took it. I believe that the, the devil just came to you and said, hey, say that you took it for for people can take the shit. All right. So hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.